hi dear friends good morning to one and all dear friends in the last part of the video of this online lecture series we particularly discussed about the electromagnetic spectrum and the different or the various reasons of electromagnetic spectrum dear friends with the discussion of this electromagnetic spectrum <coughs> we also discussed a various uses of this electromagnetic radiations present in the electromagnetic spectrum and we came to that these are very useful in our day to day life also dear friends now in this part of the video today we are going to discuss about the interaction between electromagnetic radiation and the matter what happens whenever the electromagnetic radiation interacts with the matter or the different types of the molecule particularly dear friends here we are going to talk about the responses given by the molecule whenever these are exposed to some kinds of the radiation particularly electromagnetic radiation that's why today also we are going to talk about the interaction of electromagnetic radiation with a particularly molecule before going to discuss a different types of the interaction we should know what is or what type of the interaction or whenever we want to study the interaction of electromagnetic radiation with the matter then it is a simply called as spectroscopy and this study of responses given by the molecule whenever these are exposed or these are interacted with interacts with the electromagnetic radiation then that branch is called as spectroscopy and particularly here we deals with the molecular spectroscopy means simply we are going to talk about the interaction of this electromagnetic radiation with the molecule and this technique but that uh, spectroscopy technique is very very useful in the determination or in order to obtain information about the molecular structure of the molecule so this is very important branch this is very important technique in order to obtain the information of molecular structure of different types of the molecule and whenever we will talk about the <coughs> different phenomenon which are observed during the interaction of electromagnetic radiation with a molecule or with the matter then particularly a major phenomenon which are observed during the interaction of electromagnetic radiation with the matter is a first one is absorption what it self indicate in this type the electromagnetic radiations are absorbed by the molecule the second one is called as the emission definitely it is exactly opposite to absorption definitely we are going to talk about each and every one of these one by one in detail and the third one is scattering which is quite different as compared to the absorption as well as emission but this scattering is also the process of actually i will say and this is just based upon the frequency of incident radiation and the scatter radiation and definitely these are the three important phenomena which are observed when the radiation interact with the matter or the different types of the molecule if you look at one of uh, that is at each of one of this then definitely we can explain these three phenomena very easily first of all dear friends we will talk about the first phenomena which is observed during the interaction of electromagnetic radiation with the matter and this phenomenon is simply called as the absorption so what is the absorption actually it is the process by which the energy of photon is transferred from electromagnetic radiation to the molecule it's very important so this is the process by which the energy of photon of electromagnetic radiation is transferred from electromagnetic radiation to the molecule so this is the transfer of energy from electromagnetic radiation to molecule or to the matter and that's why due to the absorption of this photon of energy the molecule is promoted from ground state energy or the ground state or the ground uh, I, i can say that the lower energy level to the higher energy level or it is simply also called as it promotes the molecule from ground state to the excited state because low energy state is called as a ground state and the higher energy state is called as 
excited state. So in this case, according to the quantum theory, it is also observed that molecules are containing a small energy level or the smallest energy level and these are called like the discrete energy level. If you to if you go in the particular energy level, then this energy level is consist of the sub energy level. So whenever the molecule promotes from ground energy state to the higher energy state, but at the same time it is observed that this molecule also containing a discrete energy level and here the absorption can occur when molecule absorbs a photon of light that has energy exactly corresponds to the difference between the two energy level it means that a molecule can absorb a photon of light only that light which has energy corresponding to the difference between the two energy level it means that suppose the molecule should transition from this to this so this is the lower energy level this is the higher energy level and in this case the mon molecule may absorb only that photo of light whose energy corresponding to this difference so this is the important thing here yeah, so the whatever the value in value of this energy difference of this that photon will be absorbed by the molecule this is nothing but the quantization of energy so here this absorption is an elect that when the an electromagnetic radiations are incident on the molecule or the atom then the photon of certain frequencies may be selectively absorbed this already i told you and only that photon of sub frequency is absorbed whose uh, uh, frequency of the energy will be equal to the energy difference between two energy levels and the study of frequencies of absorbed radiation study of frequencies of absorbed radiation leads to the knowledge of constituent of the compounds their percentage and their possible structure also because whatever the type of the uh, radiations are absorbed their frequency helpful because this is the transition between the two energy level and definitely these are nothing but the, for example these are the energy which is absorbed but the whatever type of energy or the radiations are absorbed their energy or their frequency is useful to know about the constituent of the compound their percentage means how much percentage of the constituent is present in the molecule as well as their structure also so dear friends this is one of the important phenomena which is observed during the interaction of electromagnetic radiation with the matter known as absorption the second phenomenon which is also observed during the interaction of electromagnetic radiation with the matter or with the molecule and this is simply called as emission if we compare emission with the absorption during the interaction of electromagnetic radiation with the matter or with the molecule then you will come to that this emission is exactly opposite to that of absorption because in the absorption the energy is transferred from electromagnetic radiation to the molecule or the energy is absorbed or the that is photon of energy is absorbed but in this process the radiations are emitted the radiations are given out from excited atom or the molecule here it means that whenever the molecule goes from molecule goes from low energy level to the high energy level then the process is called as absorption when this molecule in this higher energy level is called as the excited state this is called as the excited molecule and this is called as the ground state it's very simple but whenever this excited state atom or the molecule come to ground state with the emission of light or with the emission of radiation then the process is called as the emission and this excited excitation can be brought about by the bombardment of molecule with the electrons of atoms of the molecules exposure to the spaces to electric current or in exposure to intense heat source or it may be possible by the irradiation of molecule with a beam of electromagnetic radiation so these are the processes which are responsible for the excitation of the molecules and when the molecule is raised to an excited state it will only that is very important it will only exist in a state for very for very short uh, life or for a short time 
and then it will relax to a lower energy level by giving or by emitting their excess energy in the form of photon of radiation of certain frequencies so this is the process by which the excess of energy is tra uh, transmitted excess of energy is emitted in the form of photon of radiations and the process is called as emission and the energy of this radiation corresponds to difference between the two energy levels between which the transition takes place it means that suppose this is the higher energy level this is the lower energy level and suppose the molecule shows the transition from higher energy to lower energy so this is the excited state and this is the ground state so definitely uh, radiations are emitted and uh, uh, during this transition but the whatever radiations are emitted during this transition only those radiations are emitted during the, uh, this transition in which or whose energy or frequency is equal to the energy difference between these two energy levels it's very important not only means only selective radiations or the radiations of selective frequencies are emitted whose frequency or the energy should be equal to the energy difference between these two energy levels now dear friends the third phenomenon that we already observed is called as scattering Actually, there is too much difference between the scattering and the earlier two phenomenon, absorption and the emission. So this is very important and it is observed that electromagnetic radiation when passed through the transparent medium, it is observed that whenever these electromagnetic radiations pass through the transparent medium, a very small fraction of electromagnetic radiation is transmitted at all angle or scattered from the original path. So this shows the uh, uh, that we can say deviation from the normal angle or from the normal path and the frequency of this scattered radiation is probably different than that of the incident radiation it may be greater or the smaller than that of the incident radiation and this phenomenon is called as scattering and for this discovery of the scattering which is discovered by because the scattering phenomenon is discovered by Dr. C. V. Raman and Dr. C. V. Raman received a Nobel Prize in 1931 for the same discovery and its study also definitely based upon the relationship between the frequency of the energy of uh, scattered radiations and uh, incident radiation there are different types of scatterings are possible different types of the phenomena are possible we are not going to detail in this but this is the another phenomenon which is observed during the interaction of electromagnetic radiation with the matter or with the molecule then our last one which is different than the scattering and it is called as fluorescence so actually this fluorescence is similar to the emission because in the emission also the excess of energy is emitted by the excited atom or the molecule in the form of photon of photon of red in the form of photons of the radiation here difference only is that here that is more excited molecules uh, initially molecules show the excitation by the absorption of electromagnetic radiation of particular wavelength and then this excited molecules emit its excess energy in the form of light it's very important that's why it is called a fluorescence here excess energy of the excited molecule is emitted in the form of light at a longer wavelength than the incident light that's why this phenomenon is called a fluorescence so this is the lightening phenomenon because in this process the excess of energy of the excited atom or the molecule is emitted in the form of light that's why it is called as a fluorescence and the absorption of radiation promotes the molecule into any of the several vibrational energy levels associated with the two excited electronic energy level because already i told you the molecules are containing discrete energy levels it may be vibrational rotational electronic but here the absorption of radiation is responsible for the transition from one vibrational level to another vibrational level along with the excited electronic level also so dear friends in this way we have discussed about the different phenomena which are observed during the interaction of electromagnetic radiation with the matter particularly with the molecule and this it may be absorption it may be the emission it may be the scattering and the last one is nothing but fluorescence. Definitely, in each and every one, there is something different as compared to the other one. Particularly, this major phenomenon observed during the interaction of electromagnetic radiation with the matter. So, in this way, 
we have discussed about this phenomenon for the study of interaction of electromagnetic radiation with the matter dear friends in the same thing there is a transition of molecule from one energy level to another energy level whenever it will absorb a electromagnetic radiation and that's why we will resume in the next part of the video to discuss about the molecular transition in the next part of the video during absorption thank you thank you very much